वॉम वेलकम टू एवरी वन ऑन माई चैनल दिस इज शान यू वॉचिंग टेक्निकल टू फोर एक्स सेवन यू कैन फॉलो सन फेसबुक एंड ट्विटर फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन ऑप्टिमाइज यूर रेंडरिंग स्पीड जस्ट बाई इनेबलिंग क्यूडा सो आई नो इट्स टू अनोइंग टू वेट जस्ट जस्ट टू टेक आउट अ रेंडर ऑफ टेन मिनट्स फॉर एटलीस्ट वन टू टू आवर सो जस्ट बाई इनेबलिंग क्यूडा यू कैन जस्ट स्ट्रीम आउट योर टाइम सो वट इज क्यूडा क्यूडा स्टैंड फॉर Compute Unified Device Architect, which is developed by Nvidia. So, doing this little trick, I have to make sure you have Nvidia graphics card in your machine. To make this trick work, make sure your graphics card must support CUDA. So, let's get started. So, I am using After Effects CC 2015, but if you are using a CS6, then it will work same. To check CUDA is enabled by default or not, let's start the application. I'm telling you in first in After Effects then in Premiere Pro. So this is the application started. You to check the CUDA is enable or not, simply go to Edit, Preference, and the second tab is Preview. Then you can see a GPU information. Click. If you able to select CPU. From GPU, then congratulations, the CUDA is enabled by default. But if you not, you have to do it manually to make the GPU available. So this is little tricky. Close everything. Before doing this, I have to say that you need this application, Tech Power U GPU Z. The link was given in description. You have to download and install this application before doing that. This application is mainly used to check all the specification of your graphic card. we don't need everything we just need a graphic card name as you can see ignore the first name this is the graphic card name geforce gtx 650 ti boost so note down the name exactly as is written so ignore the first name that is nvidia then note the name exactly as written like capital g e f capital f o r c capital gtx 650 ti boost like you can see i just i just noted the name exactly as written over here so you have to copy this full name copy close this go to the project directory file where you just install your adobe after effects in my case it default c drive program files adobe then select the version of after effects i am showing you in cc 2015 support file then you have to find a file here its name is ray trace supported card like you can see ray trace supported card open it you can see some bunch of graphic card name written over here which supports cuda by adobe so at last you have to paste your graphic card name then file save then close everything now open after effect do same edit preference previews gpu information congratulation the gpu is now able to select means you can select the gpu like you can see my cuda driver which is going to trim out the most of the consuming time when we try to render anything so select gpu okay then okay now in adobe premiere pro i am using adobe premiere pro cc 2015.3 open it in premiere pro to check the gpu information you have to go in file project setting but if you are using cs6 then you have to find the project setting over here in this case project settings general as you can see i am able to select this cuda but in your case if you won't be able to select this cuda means you have to do it manually to able to select this cuda by applying some little trick so close this application create a new text file and then rename it cuda underscore supported underscore cards and open the file 
and paste the name of your graphics card inside them. Save. Then you have to copy or cut this file and have to paste in your project file where the Adobe Premiere is installed. Select the version of your Adobe Premiere like I am using 2015.3 and you have to paste here as you can see then you can able to select the CUDA in Premiere Pro whatever version you are using. After pasting that file in Premiere Pro directory folder you will be able to select the CUDA in Premiere Pro from Project General. So if you like this trick please like my video and please subscribe to my channel for more interesting update. This is Shan signing out.